we're going to talk about the diversity of the ecosystem. Why, we, we started touching on it. Yeah. You don't have to stick with the analogy necessarily, Great. but why is this important? Well, I think it's important because it represents what St. Louis is, and I really view St. Louis as a microcosm of the largest, larger, you know, United States. Uh, we have a minority population, a variety of minorities. We have a, a educated population, we have an uneducated population, we have urban, we have suburban, and if we want to be a holistic city, then we actually have to reach out to all those communities. And there are, I always give the analogy that there are people on the north side of St. Louis that maybe don't use the term entrepreneur, but they use the word hustler all the time, and they're really speaking the same language. And I think it's, it's beholden to us as those that serve entrepreneurs to really reach out to all of them so that they all have a place at the table. So how is this ecosystem developing? Is it, are we just building another old boys club here or is it different, <laughs> would you say? No, I think it feels different. About halfway into my business, I've been in business for 10 years, and about five years in was when I kind of opened my eyes to see what was around in St. Louis and dove into some of the mentor networks. And That's yes, interesting. Why, five, why did it take five years? I was a mom, and <laughs> my kids were in school, and it was a more reasonable time for yeah. me um, to have the focus and to think bigger. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what those organizations did for me. And yes, they were predominantly men, um, but they were welcoming. Um, and I'm so excited about Prosper and having a more female-focused avenue for people. But that being said, and even um, welcoming in many different groups and having ways for people to feel included and supported, um, the diversity, I think, and having people from all walks of life mentor you is also important. If I just had female mentors, I don't think my business would be necessarily in the same place. Everyone asks different kinds of questions and everyone else kind of pushes you differently. Mm -hmm. So I think the diversity is important in many, on both sides. Mm -hmm. Prosper does what and why is it needed? Prosper was launched in January to address this gender gap in entrepreneurship. And, and we always talk about it being not a gender issue or a feminist issue, um, but an economic development issue. Um, you know, half of of the people here are, are women. And we've, I've, I've done a lot of work with early stage entrepreneurs and it's just true, kind of what Talia touched on, that a lot of times women are doing their startups in the midst of everything else that they're doing. And so uh, we use the word tribe a lot at Prosper um, and it kind of allows folks that are doing what Talia did to kind of reach out and find their tribe and look around and say, here's where all the women entrepreneurs are. So um, we, we have a, a Prosper Startup Accelerator that will fund some of those women. Um, we have an institute side that will do some of the education and networking and just bring those women together and kind of give them a voice so they're not only, um, we're not only growing their businesses, but eventually they're at the other side of the table where we're, they're giving some of that funding away. And that's kind of really our long goal. But we still have a long ways to go also. I mean, again, we don't want to paint a rosy picture. There, uh, there is still uh, in inequity that takes place. There, there aren't the investors that are, looking, uh, that are looking to diversity always. They're still looking for the best business opportunity. And so I think that what we have to do is position a lot of different opportunities as being viable business opportunities and offer mentoring that resonates with these different people groups. Yeah, we've gotten some grief in the past when we do entrepreneur shows. Mm -hmm. Where, are we bad bookers uh, for the show or, or, is, it, or is, the, is the community not that diverse to draw on? And the feedback you've been getting is that it's not it, that, that the show yet. itself yeah. doesn't, re doesn't look very diverse. When, when, we, when we talk entrepreneurship. I think it takes work. I mean, it really does take work. You, you can't, if we're, if we're lazy about things, we're going to get a very homogenous group. Uh, but if we are diligent and, and not trying to fill a quota, but just thinking to ourselves, we need people in these disciplines. Can we think of, can we think of, can we think of people that are from diverse backgrounds? And if you make it purposeful, then you will fill a panel, like a lot of the group that's here today is very diverse. We have two women and one minority. Your, your first panel had two African Americans. I mean, I think it's working and it's, just, it's not fabricated and it's not false. It really is authentic. You have to think about it though. I mean, we, we have a really, uh, we're here to serve a diverse group of women. And we look in our ranks and we think of all kinds of diversity. So not just the diversities that we think about right away, but what is the age range of the mm -hmm. women that we're serving? There's people right out of college. Um, there's folks in our groups that have um, retired and this is kind of their second career in entrepreneurship. Are we representing a lot of different industries? So kind of diversities of all, time, of all kinds because those are the voices that you want to hear to kind of lift everyone up. But you have to be thoughtful about it. Mm -hmm. it. It is an effort. And I think to Travis's point, I think as tides turn, um, things will change because like you said, when you hear about the mentor group I was in, I heard about from a friend. And as you have diversity in the um, entrepreneurial world here, those people will reach out to their own communities, their own families, their own mm -hmm. um, social circles, and, and create more diversity. And, and if entrepreneurs are hustlers, like you say, 
then right. it's got to make business sense. Does, does, right. does, does, it all has to make business sense. Yeah. At the end of the day, it, it all does. Yeah. And diversity does in your mind. Yeah. It makes it's it's a great it makes great economic sense. I mean, if you're if you can sell to a broader audience, then you can make more money, and I think that that's a good thing. Mm -hmm.